There we go. There we go. There we go. My man, Ines was goody. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello? Man, chilling was good, man. Fresh off his battle versus Mac Marvin. Talk to me, man. How you feeling about the battle? It's a good battle, man. It was like, um, I've been in a lot of dog fights, but Ness versus Mac Myron, not 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 to give up too much. It was one of the mm -hmm. dog fight, man. It was real dog on both sides. It was like great moments, but it gotta be a winner. And I'm um two one. First and second. First and the second you won. Are you saying that confidently? Confident. Or are you saying that because you gotta say you won? No, confidently. Without without no prejudice. No disdain, nothing. Two one. First like I had it in the bag. My man Sweaty Murphy, he man. Had crazy second round. And I just I matched that intensity and upped it. Okay. Right. Okay. And the energy was his second round was so so was the second round the best round of the battle? Let me tell you, it was so much energy in there that you know I don't know if you know Big K and um Forty Cow they had like a you know a little issue with time. Okay. Our battle was so electrifying niggas didn't give a fuck like they just was letting us go like real shit. Oh wow, so y'all was y'all both went over the time limit. Both. The clip I got, okay. my page right now, that's like the start of the um, third round. But the clip before that I put up yesterday, that's like the end of the second round. And that's two minutes long. The rounds was only two minutes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so y'all was going crazy over there. <laughs> okay. Okay. My man Sweaty Murphy, that's what I'm talking about, bro. No, that's what I'm talking about. Mac was in there Say it again. Time from, from the first round to the third, top to bottom, nonstop. Like, this was the – I always say it takes your opponent to pull, pause, the best material, the best you out of you. And going Exactly. Into, going into it, people was like 2-1 Mac, and I felt some type of way. So up until the day of, I still was writing material. So by the time we had okay. – time we had – and got the battle, already had an extra round and a half to where I could just place it wherever I wanted to, wherever it fit. Because I knew Matt okay. was out full throttle, and he he did just that. Any other MC, if it wasn't me, it definitely got clumped. 3-0, Curry. Curry Goat by, by Matt Myra. Hey, Ness, I got to ask you a question, bro. What is keeping you motivated besides the money? I know the money's keeping you battle rap, but like, what else is keeping you more? Because you still here, you still here, and it don't look like you going nowhere no time soon. The DNA really damaged my jaw. That left a bad, like, rapport with people as far as I'm concerned, and being a bad sportsman and just handling it like mm -hmm. really in a bad fashion. So I be reading the comments sometimes, and I, I try not to get caught up in them, but sometimes every. Every one to catch my every so often want to catch my eye. A lot of people be saying he's supposed to be sitting up where Mook and Lux and all them niggas that he's still trying to get his respect back. And that's my path. Everybody's path is not the same. So yeah, I took mm. a blow to my career with how I carried it with the DNA John. But until then, even my losses, I've I've handled like a man. And um this year I've been on a crazy tear. Starting off with the big cannon battle, that was a judge battle. Won that. Mm -hmm. Um, then I'm right back on RBE with Remedy Loco, and then this past weekend with Mac Myron. So I made three appearances on like within three months outside of the already mm -hmm. crazy itinerary that I got. Because I got Snake July 34th. Oh, MC Wars, shot the MC Wars. So and, 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 and and with that being said, I still got the um, ad battle on, on Battle Academy in hindsight to prepare for. So I'm taking all these okay. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's, it's about to get real crazy. Um, RBE, then, you know what I mean? They, they done made an offer to bring me in and contractually wise. So, you know what I mean? They looking to, um, you know, invest more in, you know, people seeing a lot more than that. Oh, they're going to sign you to a contract? Oh, so you all right? Wait a minute. 
because AR, RBE never did contracts. So you officially going to be RBE. There's no other league, none of that shit involved, like once you sign the papers. So you about to be an RBE battler. We in, we in negotiation phases. But the energy, mm. energy is definitely there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. I still got some good years left. And this, you know what I mean? Like I said, that's my path. A lot of people wrote me off with the DNA, John. I've been climbing my way back up. The small rooms is really giving me a chance to hone my craft and really get in touch with, you know what I mean, my strengths and my weaknesses. And, and with that, I've been building on my weaknesses. And you're going to see when this Mac battle come out, like I'm really starting to come into really like, um, you know, just understand what it's all about. Whereas people like Mills or somebody like that, they don't know how open and wide this battle rap shit can be and where your creativity can flow. And you can see it in a performance. It's mm -hmm. not just build out, but I'm only saying that because of, of the obvious, you know, issue he had with RBE for not being on his, the latest car. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Really show, you can't let him see you sweat, man. You really just got to go back and reevaluate and just, you know what I mean? If you really want to do this, you really got to put some time behind it. Like, you only going to get out of it what you put into it. What you put in it, okay. Trying to coast. They can tell. So what mm -hmm. I said... And that's what quote. Mm -hmm. now, let me go all the way back down and build it all the way back up to where people are rooting for me again. And it's genuine. It's not, oh, he one of them niggas just in a way. No, it's genuine. They can see it in my eyes every time I perform. Whatever opponent may be at mid-tier, top-tier, mid-top-tier, whatever. I'm going there and giving 100% every time. Yeah, you know what's crazy, Ness? You don't really get crazy personal with battlers. And in this era, they, they actually do that. Do you feel like that's something that you have to do or you prefer not take the personal route, really, and just do your own thing? I mean, to me, I, um, going into it, I always was on defense because of the cheesecake, the Puff Daddy thing, the bread fight. So I never really, it was always, I had to end up writing pre pre rebuttals in my rhymes. So, I, I mean, it was always a strategy to throw something in there to rebuttal, you know, the things that's always being thrown at me in every battle. So I never had the chance to dive deep into another, uh, my opponent's personal business because I'm always trying to, because I know that's going to be their biggest weapons is, you know what I'm saying, the cheese, the cheese cake. You know, on the surface. So yeah, but lately I've been trying to get a little bit personal, but it's, you know I mean, like people don't give up information no more like they used to. Niggas give up information on battle rappers all the time, but when it comes to an ENS battle, motherfuckers don't be like, and I don't really like, I, I think that's cheating. Like, you know what I mean, like, okay. all you, you got to use material. I just leave it all on the floor and the pure skill set. And um, like I said, uh, that's something I want to get into, but not so much because I've been doing all right without really being a personal battle rapper. You know what's crazy about this cheesecake shit? It's just like, I understand niggas made fun of it, but that kind of, like, played a big part of your career regardless. Yeah. If that shit never happened, who knows if people are talking about you as much? No offense. Listen. Same with Babs. Same with all of them. They're going to say that, but they're not going to talk about the Dave Chappelle show. Just what I'm saying. They they, they, they got their picks. They're going to say, yo, he walked for cheesecake. Mm. No, he, he was on one of the iconic comedy skit shows ever. They're going to pick what they want to mm -hmm. do. I can't control that. So in defense to that, I just start embracing all the negativity. Go get me some mm -hmm. cheese, cheesecake this, cheesecake that. So I got my own cheesecake. Got my own cheesecake business. Got my own cheesecake merchandise. Got my own you do? Page. Yes. You got a cheesecake business? Yes. Smart man. Smart man. Where, in Philly? Yes. You can follow it. It's about time. You can follow it on Instagram, at Nest Cheesecake. At Nest Cheesecake. Should have been did that. You should have turned that into a positive. Never too late. I must never give up was a battle rapper. When did you start the cheesecake business? A year ago. How's it going so far? Great. We got to deal with DoorDash and everything. It's expanded. Oh, shit. Yes. Okay, now. Yeah. <laughs> 